Good morning. Welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel. I don't know what day it is. It's Monday, and this is maybe the 12th? 13th. 13th? Okay, I was close. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I had a frog in my throat this morning. Um, we're downstairs this morning. This is Nikki's kids. And two of these guys do not have a haircut. So the orange collar female and the pink collared female, I have not heard from anybody if they want a haircut. So everybody else has had a haircut. So if you want a haircut, please text me today and let me know, and I will give them a haircut. <clears throat> okay, so these guys are doing super good. I'll tell you what, once you get them a haircut, it makes a whole different look of this, how size they are. This one is the biggest one in the litter, and look how much smaller that looks than this female that hasn't had a haircut. <laughs> <coughs> She is probably as close to he is in size right now. Um, oh, they smell what the other mm -hmm. had. We just had uh, the other litter down here, and they had liver and cottage cheese, and they're going, this is mean. Where's mine? <coughs> Excuse me. I had a hammer and micro chicken. And uh, <coughs> so what we're going to do is give them, um, we're going to weigh them. We're going to give you close-up pictures. I know what you're shaking for. What you nervous for? Are you nervous? I know you're nervous. Are you nervous? What are you nervous for? I know you just had a haircut. You don't know what to do with your body. Yeah, I know. I know it. This is the little guy that was my <coughs> bottle baby. <coughs> okay, hopefully that gets it out of my throat, guys. And um, I just gave him a haircut this morning. He looks so cute with a haircut. It looks like a wind-up toy. So, are you gonna, no, you're still looking for cottage cheese. So we're gonna go through here, we're gonna give everybody um, an idea of what they weigh today. Um, I still haven't put a collar on him because he's so got such a tiny neck, I haven't put it on him yet. I suppose I could, but I just haven't, haven't done it. Not that I babied him or anything. <laughs> but, all right, so let's get, are you ready to get started? You're both up here on my lap. You want to go first? I know. You be, You still think I'm your mom, don't you? I know it. He's a good boy. All right. This is 8832. And he is a peewee. Are you a peewee? So we brought down, we brought them down a snack. So they think they got left out, but they didn't. We're going to bring them down a snack. All right. So this puppy is... One pound, 3.6 ounces. Is this one? I didn't chip him. Yeah, I did. 88.32 is his number. I just hadn't, I forgot I chipped him. I finally got brave and stuck him. Um, a couple things with these guys. Nobody has been hypoglycemic yet, but it's because of how we feed. So these guys have food available to them all the time. This is the week we're going to wean them. So we're going to keep a really close eye on the two smallest ones. Actually, there's three tiny ones in here uh, that are the littler than the rest. So we're going to make sure that he gets doesn't lose any weight. We're going to make sure his breath stays clear. Um, and I don't give them lots of stuff during the day. I only give them the, their snack in the mornings. And so that's what that's all he's going to get for now. He's like, I don't like it down here. No, I don't. He says, what's wrong with these people? They're all smelling the floor. Don't pick on him. Just leave him alone. Just let him, let him be okay. And you sit here and stare at me the whole time. <laughs> so this is the green collar. This one is a, a male. This one's a male. There is one puppy left in a vet here available. I'll show you when we get to her. Him. I've always called that puppy a her, and it's a him. So this is the little chocolate Merle Tri. And he's got the brown trim on his face. He has a beautiful, I love the pattern on his coat. He's got lots of stippling on that coat. You're just bound you're going to bite him, aren't you? Are you back? Are you back? I know you're back. Um, just a really, really sweet puppy. Nice coloring. And you're doing, I know, and you're just, you're all, they're, we really don't hold them all day, but they love to be held. They're really bad about it. You really could stay here all day, couldn't you? I know. All right, let's see what he weighs. He is one pound, 5.4 ounces today. Huh, say so just a little squirt in the bucket. All right, down you go. Uh, okay, we'll do you. This is the one that's still available. This is the turquoise collar. 
This is the last male. There's nothing else left in this litter but this boy. He is 89, or no, 9003. Actually, it's a 13 digit number, but I only ever put the last four on because I don't want to have to tell that whole number every time. Really pretty coloring, really pretty coloring. And he's got nice yin yang face. He's got a half brown face and a half merle face. And he's got the same, he's got this real dark patch down his shoulder. And he's got some curls down his back coming. See, I'm going to a pretty boy, huh? See, I'm a pretty boy. I'm, my estimate, and this is a guesstimate, because I've never bred Nikki for schnauzers. I've always bred her for schnoodles. And I'm saying with the size of dad, you're probably going to be seven to nine pounds on these bigger ones. This is one pound, 10.4 ounces today. So there you go. And this is the one that's still available. He's the turquoise collar. I know, you want to appear my lap? Okay. This guy has always been very, very, he doesn't fight with them. Uh, lots of times they'll climb on, time, on top of him and want to argue and, and fight. He's not somebody that likes to be rowdy. He's just very calm. He'll come up in the morning and wag his tail at me and come over to the fence for me to pick him up. But he's not a, a screamer. And he's just somebody that just wants to sit and be quiet on your lap. I know. Maybe he'll change and be a monster, but right now he's not a monster. You're the monsters. You're the monsters. Yeah, you guys like to play and wrestle and fight. All right, so this is the yellow colored female, and she is sold. She is 9004. You know who that is? Yeah, you know who that is. I love her coloring. She's got a pretty face. And we actually put a little bit of salve in her eye, teramias in her eye this morning. Um, I think somebody got her with a, a toenail. So we started treating her with teramycin, which is what you use for an, an eye. And it should clear it up by probably Friday. Uh, it's already better. It was swollen this morning, and now it looks really good. It's open. And that teramycin is very soothing. And even when my granddaughter gave me pink eye, I used the dog's teramycin in my eye and got rid of the pink eye. So teramycin works really good. It's what the vet recommends for a scratched eye. So she goes to the vet. This whole group and pearls go to the vet on Thursday for their health checks. And so we'll have him check it back then when he goes and make sure it's all healed up. So that is, and with this many little ones, and boy, they climb all over top of each other. It's really tough to get out of one of these little litters without somebody getting an eye scratch. So we'll make sure that's cleared up before everything, before she goes home. <coughs> um, all right, let's see what you weigh. And one of these, this is one pound, 3.8. One of these this morning doesn't feel good, and I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's either her or the green colored pup, but it's their stool, and I'm going to have their stool sample checked today. Um, everybody else has got great stools. <clears throat> She's playing like crazy, so I know there's nothing wrong with her, um, but I'm real fussy on stool samples, so we actually collected some a little bit ago, and after they eat their cottage cheese, Hopefully they'll potty and we'll get another sample. <clears throat> we'll take it to the vet and see what they got. Because they've been wormed, they've been everything. So we're just gonna make sure that there's nothing going on in her gut. <clears throat> but um, everyone's done great. Nobody's been hypoglycemic. And so we're, we're good to go. All right, so that's the yellow, the green, this one, the turquoise. All right, oh, that was a good jump. Come here, come here. So this one is the one that is going home with one of Fergie's kids, yeah. or Fiona's kids, not Fergie's kids, Fiona's kids. Huh, <clears throat> I have not given her a haircut, so mom, if you want a haircut, you're gonna have to call me and let me know. I didn't cut her just in case. See, but I'm just a little fuzzball. I'm a little fuzzball, yes I are. All right, she is microchip number 9006, and she has the orange collar. I know you guys are just all in my lap. She is one pound, 5.2 ounces as of today. But look at this coat, she has this huge coat. You know what, you got a little bit of color under there. There's a little bit of color showing under here. I don't know if it shows on the video or not. Yeah. But I don't know, she may turn. I don't know. 
I don't know what you're going to do. No, I don't know what you're going to do. You ready to get out? You guys, you could go play. There's things to do. Okay? No, nope, you don't want to. <clears throat> All right. So this one is the last one. This is the female. She's sold. And I have not given her a haircut. So if you want a haircut, text me and let me know. This one is, we did her, didn't we? I don't know. She's got the neon pink collar. Nah, maybe we didn't do her. So. If we did, it's a repeat. Um, she's got a beautiful coat, really pretty coat. She says, I'm just a good girl. I know it, I see it. So if you want a haircut, let me know. So they're gonna get their toenails trimmed today. <coughs> that was a new thing. I haven't heard you bark at each other before. Oops, we're zeroed out. <coughs> Why are we doing that? There we go. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, we are one pound, 10.2 ounces. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No arguing, no arguing, no, no, no arguing. You're bad. They're ornery, I swear they're ornery. So that gives you the skivvy on these guys. Everybody's doing really good. Um, everybody is, um, ready for their vet check on Thursday. That'll be their last vet check. And um, I know Dr. And we're, I think it's Dr. Anderson we're gonna see this. He's the original vet in that office. And they will, um, he loves puppies. So they always give him all the puppies to do. You are, don't bite her tail. No, don't bite her tail. I know you're just rough and roaring, aren't you? I know, and you want attention too. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to make a mess. We're gonna give them their cottage cheese. So I'm not putting the liver in it this morning just because of um, this one's gut. I wanna make sure, cause I think it's this one that has a little bit of a loose stool this morning and I don't wanna add the liver today. I'm gonna to hold off on that and just give them their cottage cheese. And then that way when they go upstairs, I'm gonna keep an eye on her and get a stool sample. Listen, you are just Mr. Tough Pants today. Partially, they're separated now since we've started weaning them. This one, the female with the pink collar, the turquoise collar. Those two aren't with them, that's why. Because we've taken them away. They're down with Pearl's kids. And um, so the black one's going away today and that'll leave the three little ones, the yellow, this one, and this one together. <clears throat> Mom is only going in in the morning for about 10 minutes to nurse, and then she's back out. Um, she's back in at night for about 10 minutes, and this week is the, the week where we're we weaning them down. So this one, did you just put it on my floor? Yeah. Um, the turquoise collar has not seen them for probably, oh, five days. And so they're doing... They're completely weaned off of mom. I know, you piddled on my carpet again. Okay. We're running out of carpet down here. Um, so this one and this one have been living with pearls, and these four have been together, so this one wants to be the boss. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with my throat today. It's like I got a frog in my throat. All right. I have the good stuff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Since I'm going to put you in here first because everybody shoves you out. There's yours. He's picky. He goes around and finds the pile he wants to eat out of. Nope, you come over here. You don't have to take it away from him. There is stuff everywhere. Yeah, everybody can have their own pile. You have your own pile. He has his own pile. Right there's your pile. There's no difference. It's all the same. I'll tell you what, they vacuum this stuff up. Oh, no, no, that's not your pile. You've already had your pile. You're not eating his pile. Sometimes we have to referee snack time. There's people that are pigs. <laughs> and they want to eat everything. You go eat her. She's bigger. You leave him alone. He's eating his. So morning is the only time I do this. And um, the rest of the day, their food is available 24 hours a day. So when you take these guys home, especially the littlest ones, no, she says, who else has got, oh, she's, she's got all over his head. Um, 
the littlest ones, it's really important to eat. Let them eat 24 seven. Whenever they wanna eat, let them eat. Don't take their food away, leave it in a pan, especially until they get at least four to five pounds. <clears throat> no, you are fatter than fat. Get over here, squeeze your way in over here and let him alone. He's a lot more, he's not as aggressive as they are when he eats. So we always come out and say, look at her. She's just gulping down everybody's stuff. <laughs> okay, sister. I'm holding it. You do not need any more. Look at this belly. This belly is just bulging. No, you don't need any more. Don't you go eat his. No, you, I can't ever convince him. Here, buddy. Psst, 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 psst. Come here. I got, no, you don't have to look more. I got you more right there. I made yours in a pile. He gets it along the edge and then he doesn't realize it's all stuck along the edge and they kind of pile it back up for him. Yeah, you, bur you just burped, didn't you? Yeah, you just burped. You have it all over your, oh, I'm covered in college teeth. You are, you've got it all over your feet. And now you're, look at them shake. This, it's like eating ice cream. And when they get done, they just sit around and they shake because it's, it's freezing. They'll all be shaking when they're done. So like I said, this is a morning thing. Uh, when they get home with you, I would say uh, maybe a tablespoonful is plenty. I feed them the fattest cottage cheese I can buy. Oh, I'm making a big mess. And uh, that's the only extra they get. The rest of the day, it's dry food, it's water. Uh, the food that I feed, you're not gonna be able to get where you live. I will send a good size bag home with you. What I would recommend uh, what I feed is about $69 a bag. It's called American Natural Starter. I don't think you'll be able to find it in your area. You can try, <clears throat> but the next best thing that's, oh, okay, I know you went back on my lap, but I want to clean your mouth off. Look at that mouth. This is like just a mess, Mom. Um, American Natural Starter is really, really tiny. It's like eating Hugh Gibbons grape nuts. It's really small, super easy for these guys to chew up. Um, even when they didn't have teeth, they were trying to eat it. So if you can't find it, Royal Canine, she's just going to go right on that pan. Royal Canine makes um, a small bite for tiny breeds, like for Yorkies. So, and they do a marketing thing with that. They put a Yorkie on the bag or they put a Schnauzer on the bag and there's no difference in the food. So it is a smaller bites for the tiny do doids, tiny dogs. So... Royal Canine for Yorkies or Nutrisource for small breeds. Um, it's kind of a diamond shape. If you go to your local pet store, you have it on your eyebrows, both <laughs> ears. What a mess. Look at this face. Uh, and it's on the back of the head. It's all over it. No, don't lick me. Don't lick me. And pet stores have samples they can show you. A lot of times they have samples they'll give you. <clears throat> so I would go to your local pet store Oh, I can't get it off your beard. Um, I'd ask them, you know, what's the smallest breed? And you, you want a 30% protein. This one is still going. This one never gives up. <clears throat> okay, everybody's going to piddle on the floor. And I, I know, I'm cleaning it up. I know, and I've got, I've got cottage cheese everywhere. Um, but go to the pet stores. Find out uh, what their small breed is. Find a 30-20, 30% protein, 20 fat. And even if it's a 22% fat, that's awesome. It's the fat and the calories that these guys need. Their metabolism is much higher than a normal puppy because of their size. You have it all in your coat. And uh, so find something in your area that you can mix with what I give you, but I will give you at least four pounds of mine um, so that you can go home with plenty. And then please do not put them on a schedule. You will end up with a sick dog. Um, you'll end up with hypoglycemia. I will send you home with a hypoglycemic sheet. If you have another dog and it's going to play with it, you really need to limit the time because you can get this puppy to where it's played so much, its calories have depleted in its body and it will get hypoglycemia. So, which is the same thing as a diabetic gets. <clears throat> when, um, <laughs> look at this face. 
look at this belly. And you just ate so much, you just don't burst. Yes, you did. Now I have it on my nose. Thank you very much. Um, and I'll give, I don't have anything else, people. Um, I will give you a sheet on hypoglycemia. If you've never had a tiny one, it's your biggest um, worry is that high, they don't get hypoglycemia. And it's just because their calorie count is too low and they don't have enough. Look at them shake. Everybody in here is shaking. They're, so that's the coldest stuff in the whole world, Mom. I was so glad we did your video after your bath, before your snack. You guys are miserable. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. I hope you've enjoyed watching them get their morning snack. Um, I know you you deserve to shake. You ate more than anybody else in there. Yes, you did. Um, so I will uh, talk to probably many of you soon. We still have one available in here. It's the turquoise collared male. They're going to clean each other's face off. And uh, they're going, oh, just give me kisses. No, they're not kissing. They're cleaning their faces off. And they'll go upstairs and do, see these two are doing it too. They're cleaning off the leftover cottage cheese. And they actually clean each other pretty up pretty well to where they won't be covered. So text me if you want the last two to have a haircut. Um, the female with the pink collar and the female with the orange collar. Oh, there. It says here, let me clean your mouth. Yeah. Say, big sister will clean your mouth. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please watch the video on crates that I post today also. If you haven't seen it, it will be down. <clears throat> it's on YouTube, and it will be down at the very bottom of where I post. No, you can't have that. It's got cottage cheese on it. Um, so go down under the videos and all the way under the puppy's pictures. It will be the first video on top. So um, please watch that. Call me if you have any questions. And uh, he says, I'm going to bite your toes. You better not. And you're going to fall, aren't you? You're so fat with that. You're afraid to climb over. So have a good one. Call me with questions. And have a blessed day. And we'll talk to you later.